everyone, welcome back to One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. Today I am back doing another set review, and this time it is for 2022 Tops Pristine. It's a set that was resurrected this year from the early 2000s, and we're going to take this set on a walkabout, find out what it's all about, and we'll dig into what the best break teams are. Is it a set that you should be buying? Is it a set that you should stay away from? There's only one way to find out, and that's with the One Cent Sports Cards 2022 Tops Pristine Set Guide and Review. So here we go, it is the 2022 Topps Pristine Set Guide and Review, and what we're trying to do with this review is find out how good Topps Pristine really is. We're gonna do that by using the exclusive one cent sensational set rating. Now how do we get to that? Well, we're gonna cover off on a lot of things today. We'll start with the set highlights, tell you what the set is all about, tell you the different buying formats you can get it in, we'll dig a little bit deeper, tell you what the key cards are. We'll go into the parallels, the inserts, the relics, the autos, and I'm even gonna give you six teams that I would target in a break. Then I'll tell you how good all 30 teams are using the break team cheat sheet. And that's what brings us to our one cent sensational set ranking where we find out how good 2022 Tops Pristine really is. And then we'll end it by showing you how it ranks with every other set that has been released so far in the 2022 baseball card collecting season. But before we begin, I've got one more thing for you. Be sure to throw over to first and hit that like button for me. It's the best way that you can support the channel. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button so you can see all of the set guides as I release them. If you want to see them first, you got to hit that bell notification so you know as soon as they go live. And finally, if you have not checked out my Patreon page, please do so. That's where you get into my breaks. That's where you get Discord access. That's where you get monthly packs, break credits, and so much more. I encourage you to check Check it out there is a link in the description below so let's begin 2022 tops pristine here's what it is it is a revival of an early 2000s chromium set and it comes in a pack within a pack within a pack format it is a reboot like i mentioned of a short-lived set that was introduced in 2002 so it's only had five years of production went from 2002 to 2005 and it's being re-released this year in 2022. It is available on hobby stores only, and this year it will have a 300 card base set checklist. There are rookies, 44 of them in total, vets and retired greats that are featured throughout the checklist. And for our color rainbow, we've got a six color base set parallel rainbow, plus an additional five pristine refractor rainbows, and all of those come encased out of the box we'll cover off on what that means more here in a little bit here's what you can expect in a box you're going to get two autographs one autographed relic and four in case refractors per hobby box each pack contains three mini packs in like the master pack so one pack will have an encased auto or a parallel the second pack will have an auto relic or a few chase cards, and the third pack has seven base set cards. So each pack has three mini packs inside it. There are three insert sets available this year. They're called Fresh Faces, Pristine Borders, and Pure Power. And there are five auto sets and two auto relic sets also available. Finally, I think this is going to be a very, very popular break product just because of the format with the mini packs, lots of autos, lots of encased hits, going to be a fun rip for sure. So what are the different buying formats we can get this in? Well, let's start with the hobby case. There's going to be eight boxes per case, six packs per box, 10 cards per pack for a total of 480 total cards. The current price online is about three grand, so your cost per card is gonna be $6.25. What you're guaranteed to get? 16 autos, eight auto relics, 32 encased refractors, 48 other refractors, and 40 different inserts. If you wanna get a hobby box, you're gonna get six packs per box, 10 cards per pack, 60 total cards, 
$380 is the current online price. So your cost per card creeps up to $6.33. And you get two autos, an auto relic, four encased refractors, six other refractors, and five different inserts. So the key cards we're going to be chasing in Topps Pristine. First, we'll start with the rookies. We've got Joe Ryan, Reed Detmers, Brandon Marsh, Jaron Duran, Wander Franco, Josiah Gray, Shane Baz, Seth Beer, Cal Raleigh, O'Neal Cruz, Tyler Gilbert, Vidal Brujan, and Jose Siri. For our parallels, autos and relics that we're going to be chasing. First, obviously those encased pristine refractor parallels. You can see what the encasement is going to look like over there on the right. We have the fresh faces inserts, plus there's autograph versions of those. There's the encased pristine autographs. That's what you see over there on the right with Jaron Duran. We also have the encased pristine pair dual autos very cool cards if you can hit them we also have the popular demand auto relics and the slice of a star auto relics finally we also have the popular demand autos the pure power autos as well so the parallels we're chasing here in pristine we like i mentioned there's the base parallels which are not encased so with those we've got the refractors that are not going to be numbered. Then we have a purple refractor, a gold refractor, orange, red, and a super refractor one of one. For the encased parallels, we've got a blue pristine, a gold pristine, an orange pristine, red pristine, and black pristine one of one. You can see what the red looks like over there on the right with the Wander Franco. The inserts we're going to be chasing, like I said, not a ton of them. There's only three. We've got Fresh Faces, which you can see what that looks like over there on the right with the Fernando Tatis. There's 15 cards in that subset. We have Pristine Borders, 20 cards in that subset, and Pure Power. That is it. There also are no parallel breakdowns for any of these inserts. So a very straightforward insert set coming out of 2022 Tops Pristine. For Autographs. We've got the Fresh Faces Autos, 15 cards in that subset, with a parallel Gold Refractor, Orange Refractor, and Super Refractor, one of one. We have the Popular Demand Autos, 25 cards in that set, and there will be a Gold, Orange, Red, and Super Refractor Rainbow. We also have the Pristine Autos. These are the ones you're going to find in most of the boxes. We've got pristine refractors numbered to 99, gold refractors to 50, orange refractors to 25, and super refractors one of one with a 76 card set checklist. Then we have the pristine pair dual autos. You can see what that looks like with the Trout Otani dual auto over there on the right. There's five cards in the set, and you can get a pristine refractor numbered to five and a super refractor numbered one of one. We also have Pure Power Autos, 21 cards in that subset, a gold, orange, and super fractor breakdown for the rainbow as well. For the autographed relics, we've got Popular Demand Auto Relics, 29 cards in the set with an orange, pink, number to 15, red, and super fractor one of one. And we have the Slice of a Star Auto Relics. These are probably the ones that are going to be most common coming out of boxes. There's 54 cards in the set with the Pristine Refractor Gold, Orange, Red, and Super Refractor 1 of 1 breakdown. So, with all of that being said, lots of different autos, lots of different hits, very straightforward set, going to be a popular break product. So what teams should we be targeting in breaks? Like I said, I'm going to give you six, and I'm going to start with what I think the best team is. And no surprise here, I'm going the Tampa Bay Rays. They have 10 different base cards, three rookie cards, three inserts, and 11 autos. We have all of the big rookies from the Rays in this set. We've got uh, Wander Franco, Bruhan, Shane Baz, they've all got autos in the set. So I think because of the amount of rookies that we can find out of here, that this will be probably the top price team in a pick your team break, probably the most sought after team because people are still chasing Franco 
and you've got Bruhan plus Shane Baz. So if you can get any of these teams, if you're willing to pay for it and to pick your team, great team to get. You're chasing Wander and Bruhan and a little bit of Baz on the side, and there'll be some very nice cards you can pull out of this. If you get them in a random team break, hold them. Don't trade them. It's that simple. If you're looking for the most autos, you got to go look at the New York Yankees. Yankees, also a very good team here, going to be expensive. You've got 15 base cards, one rookie card, five inserts, and 16 different autos. The autos you're going to be looking for out of here, Aaron Judge, Derek Jeter, A-Rod, uh, uh, Mariana Rivera, Don Mattingly. They've got all sorts of different great Yankees names in here, but those would be the big ones. Again, going to be an expensive, expensive team because of some of the autos you can pull out of here. Not a lot from the rookie standpoint, but... I still think if you're looking for Judge, it's looking like an MVP year so far for him. Plus, you've got Jeter, a ton of different Hall of Famers. Going to be expensive in a pick your team break. Definitely a hold in a random team break. Probably not a team you're going to be able to trade into. And you're going to have to pony up some cash. But I do think with the amount of cards that they have, getting them in a pick your team is going to return some pretty decent value. Especially if you can hit some of those autos. If you're looking for the most rookie cards, go look at the Pirates. The Pirates don't have a ton of content overall in the team set. They do have nine base cards, but they have four rookie cards. There's only two inserts and three autos, and the autos you're looking for, O'Neill Cruz and Cabrian Hayes. O'Neill Cruz, going to be a big name. Very popular right now in the hobby. Cabrian Hayes, also popular. So some valuable autos there, but just because they got a lot of rookie cards, I'm a little hesitant to overpay on these on a pick your team because they are going to be a boom or bust team. It's O'Neal Cruz or bust. So one of those teams that I would not pay for in a pick your team break unless you can get them kind of middle of the pack. I don't think you're going to be able to. If you get them in a random team break, they, I actually, if you're chasing some of the bigger autos, I actually might sell O'Neal Cruz and do a trade because I think you could get a better team with a little bit more content to increase your odds of get, getting a hit out of the box. However, if you're chasing rookies, the Pirates, definitely a team you want to look at because they've got plenty of them in here. And O'Neal Cruz is a fun chase card to go after. So that's kind of up to you. But if you're looking for a solid choice, just go look at the Angels. The Angels have been a solid choice all year. Even if the team is no good on the field, they have a ton of content coming out of most sets in 2022. Here's what they have in pristine. 11 base, two rookie cards, two inserts, and eight autos. The autos we're looking for, obviously Mike Trout, Shohei Otani, big names. We also have two good rookie autos, Brandon Marsh and Reed Detmers. Again, plenty of autos with eight, lots of different base cards. Two of them are rookie cards. You're chasing those autos most definitely going to be, again, an expensive team and a pick your team break. If you get them in a random team break, hold them. Probably aren't going to be able to trade for them. But this also might be a team that you might be able to get at a decent price in a pick your team. I think most breakers are going to have it overpriced. But if you can auction on a pick your team over on eBay, that might not be a bad way to go with the Angels. I'm also going to give you two sleepers. My first one going to be the St. Louis Cardinals. They've got nine base cards, only one rookie card, and only one insert. But they have 15 different autos, and some of the names are sweet. Ozzie Smith, Paul Goldschmidt, Nolan Arenado, Mark McGuire, Molina. All those names are in there. Are they rookies? No. Are a lot of them Hall of Famers? Yes. Nolan Arenado, Paul Goldschmidt, probably well on their way. Molina, I believe he's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer himself. So the Cardinals, even though they don't have a lot of rookie content, if you're chasing autos, probably not a bad team to get. In a random team break where you can make trades, I would say the Cardinals might be an easy team to trade for. For example, if you get the Pirates, maybe you trade for the Cardinals. I think you got a better chance at getting some autos. So again, a little bit of a sleeper here. Probably still top 10 in, your, in a pick your team break just because of the amount of autos that are in there price wise. So, you know, be careful. Maybe again, go focus on the auctions, but the St. Louis Cardinals don't sleep on them. Maybe try and trade for them in a random team break. My other sleeper going to be the Boston Red Sox. 
They've got 18 different base cards, ton of content, two rookie cards, three inserts, and a great amount of autos at 10. You're chasing Jaron Duran as one of the rookies. You've got David Ortiz, Raphael Devers, Xander Bogarts autos you're looking for out of there. So some big names that are currently on the field. And I believe there's also a couple Hall of Famers you can pull out of here as well. The Red Sox probably going to be expensive, but the Red Sox typically have been kind of an okay team in breaks in 2022, maybe a little bit above average. And I do think, again, this is probably a team that you could trade for with one of the more flashier teams in a random team break that allows trades. Pirates might be a team you could trade for the Red Sox. The Red Sox generally are not one of the more sought after teams in a pick your team break. But for this one, I think they will be. And I do think that the price in a pick your team break might be a little high if it's a buy it now price. Go ahead and look at the auction. See if you can get it at a good price. Then I think from there, if you get them at the right price, a pick your team on a, on an auction is going to be great. And in a random team break, if you can trade for them, great. If you get them, keep them. So don't sleep on the Cardinals. Don't sleep on the Red Sox. But the question becomes, how good are all 30 teams when we're buying into breaks? Well, I'm going to give you a break cheat sheet, and I'm going to tier out the teams into three different categories. Tier one being the teams that are going to be the most sought after in a break. Tier two, kind of that they're okay, but you might miss, but you might hit. If you can get them at the right price, don't be afraid to get them. And then the bottom tier, which are teams that I would probably recommend to steer clear from, unless there's someone you're specifically chasing on one of those teams. So let's start with the top tier. We covered off on Tampa Bay. We covered off on the Angels and the Yankees. The White Sox have a ton of different content in here. I love my sleepers, Boston and St. Louis. And Philadelphia, who has been kind of a sleeper team itself in 2022. Ton of different content. A very nice auto checklist as well. So that's what's going to round out my top tier. For the second tier, we've got a ton of teams. All of these teams have a decent amount of autos. Um, I would like to call out that you can get Julio Rodriguez autos, Bobby Witt autos from Kansas City and Seattle. So a lot of those names that may not be in the base set checklist, they do have autos. So Kansas City is going to be an expensive team. Seattle's going to be an expensive team. And then we've also got, you know, the Tigers in there, the Braves have a very good checklist as well. Almost put them in the top tier. Uh, the Cubs have a lot of their prior stars and whatnot so definitely uh a lot of these teams i think you'll be okay don't overpay for them in a pick your team if you get one of these teams in a random team break maybe you trade them if you're looking for a different team but i think you'll do okay with most of these teams but don't be surprised if they don't hit break in and break out for our bottom tier Kind of a little crowded down here, which I'm not a big fan of for pristine, but the Guardians and the and the Rockies and the Rangers, they have been at the bottom tier all in 2022. They're just not offering a lot this year. Uh, surprisingly, the Dodgers come down here. The Dodgers do have a lot of base cards, but virtually no autos. I think the best auto you can get is Walker Bueller. And outside of that, I think they got two or three different autos. So the Dodgers actually make it to the bottom tier here. Same with the Blue Jays. The Blue Jays, you, I, you can get a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. auto. But outside of that, it's just not offering all that much. So these are the teams that I would tear out for breaks go ahead and take a screenshot of it capture it go buy into your breaks i hope you have good luck when you do buy into them but now it is time to get in to the sensational set rating for 2022 tops pristine here's how this works what i do is i have the most in-depth rating system you're going to see anywhere on the internet for these sets i break the set down into 10 different categories and each category is worth one to ten points then we add up all the points from each category, and that gives us our final one cent sensational set rating score using the scale below. Then what we do is we compare the 2022 set to the scores from past years, which for this one we won't be able to do. And then we compare the pristine set to all of the sets that have been released so far this year in the baseball card collecting season. So let's get into it. 2022 tops pristine. Here's our 10 different categories. I'm going to start with the peel. 
In appeal, I gave it a six, and here's why. It's going to be a fun break set. I think in 2022, the culture of chasing hits, we've got a lot of hits out of here. We get encased cards and all sorts of fun things. The pack within a pack, it's going to be a fun rip to do. However, it is a new set, so a product awareness might not be there as it has been for some of these bigger sets like Topps Chrome and stuff like that. So I give it a six. For the base set checklist, I think it's a pretty good checklist. I give it a 6.5. I would have loved to have gone higher, but we are missing some of the base set, although you can get them in autos like Julio Rodriguez, uh, Adley Rutschman, who we're not going to see till 2023. So we got just a lot of these names where these people have been uh, on the field almost all season, but we're not seeing them in sets because Tops is holding them back. They've been including a lot of the autos in the sets. So in fairness to Tops. We'll give it to them, but would love to see some of the base cards now that we're kind of halfway through the collecting season. Start having some of these names that were on opening day rosters way back in April. For the auto checklist, a very good auto checklist. I think people are going to be pleasantly surprised with Topps Pristine and the autos. Again, like I said, we do have a lot of the big rookie names. Julio Rodriguez, Bobby Witt Jr., Wander Franco all have autos in this, but we also have a ton of Hall of Fame autos. So I go ahead and give it an eight. For the inserts, parallels and variations. Fun, different vibe to this. So the inserts, very straightforward. The parallels, we've got the encased parallels, the other parallels that are not encased. So kind of a fun, different way to think about how to do the parallels. I also like that there isn't a gigantic parallel rainbow and that we get a lot of encased ones. So I love that. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7.5. For our production run and pack odds, it's a hobby-only release. We can look directly to the parallel breakdown and say, well, there's only 11 different parallels and none of them are numbered to like 500. They're all numbered to like 99 or less. So we don't have a large production run here. I actually think that we're going to find this is one of the better sets in 2022 when it comes to production run. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a 6.5. For the card quality, in fairness, I haven't seen the cards in person, but I do believe that with the encasement, and I do believe that it's a chromium stock. So with all of that, I'm going to go ahead and give it a seven. Historical value, I would love to go higher on this, but pristine, kind of a forgotten set from the early 2000s. And I don't think pristine, unless it really takes hold amongst the breakers, is going to hold some of the value that Topps Chrome is going to hold, that some of these other bigger, more established sets are going to hold. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a four. For cost value, the boxes, kind of expensive, but you are getting a lot of encased cards. You are getting two autos, an auto relic. You're getting all sorts of different hits out of here. Still think it's a little expensive, and I do think that some boxes will return a lot of value, but I also think some boxes might be duds and not going to return the buying cost of around 350 to 400 bucks so a little bit of buyer beware there i'm going to give it a four i do think some of the hall of fame autos are going to be awesome and i do think from the idea of big names and checklists this set does deliver so give it a four for artistic value i love the design of this set very modern almost a panini feel to it kind of a top's finest feel to it I love that they're going simple on the inserts and then encasing a lot of these parallels that we can get. The, rel the auto relics look amazing, and I believe that the auto sets look very good as well, especially that most of them are going to be on card. A very cool set. I'm going to go say artistic value is an 8. And for collectability... That's how fun is the set. Don't worry about how much it's worth and how much cards can sell on secondary markets. Just how fun is this going to be to collect? Well, we do have a 300 card base set checklist. So set collectors might enjoy that. That's a pretty nice and pretty challenging set to collect. On top of that, going to be a very fun rip no matter what. Packs within a pack within a pack and encased cards and auto relic cards coming out. Lots of different parallels coming out. So overall, I think from a collectability and just ripping and having fun with it, I'm going to go ahead and give it a seven. So 
Here's what we're going to do. We're going to add up all of those scores and figure out how good 2022 Topps Pristine really is. And for 2022, Topps Pristine comes in at a 64.5. So a very good set. I think it's going to be a fun set, especially for breakers. If you get a hobby box for yourself at your LCS or online, I think you're going to have a fun time ripping it. It's going to be very interesting to see how breakers do the pack within a pack within a pack. Lots of different ways that you could break this. You'll probably see plenty of case breaks and cased cards flying all over the place. Going to be a fun set. And I also think that it's got a good enough checklist and a great auto checklist that this is a set that you should probably be interested in if you're into collecting kind of some higher end cards and a little bit more expensive. I think that if you're a budget collector, you're gonna wanna steer clear or just buy singles on the secondary market. I think the secondary market will be pretty soft for this in all actuality. After a month or two after the release, we'll see how it catches on. We don't know how it's going to perform until it gets out there on the breaker market. Could be a very exciting set that, that builds momentum, or it could fade away after a, a month or two after the release. So Topps Pristine, I like it. I think it's a very good set. Obviously, in 2021, was not released, and in 2020, was not released either. But how does it compare to all of the other sets that have been released so far in the 2022 baseball card collecting season? Well, it comes in fifth out of 14 at that 64.5 scale. Tops out just over Panini Select, which is right down there at 63.5. We have Bowman still crushing the competition with the 78. That is a fantastic set. Tops Inception still holding strong in that number two spot with Tops Tribute. Top Series 2 drops out of the top 10 into that 11 spot. And we're starting to see in the card collecting season some sets bubbling up to the top. We still have some big bangers to come. Obviously, Tops Chrome is still on the way. We've got Tops Finest still on the way. We've got Bowman Draft and Bowman Chrome. We've got a few more nice Panini sets with Immaculate and Ot Donruss Optics still coming out. So a lot to go. But I think we're starting to see some of these sets bubbling up to the top. I think Topps Inception right now might be the sleeper set of the year. But I really like Topps Pristine as well. I think it's a fun offering, a little bit of a different offering. Going to offer a little bit of a different flair for breakers, definitely. And for hobbyists that like ripping packs and kind of having a lot of different things coming out of packs. So with that, guys. As you're out there in the wild, I looking for Tops Pristine. I hope you find it, and I hope you get some fire. If you haven't done so already, throw over to first, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you like these reviews. Would love to have you as a channel follower. And be sure to check out my Patreon page if you want to get into any of my breaks. We'll be doing Tops Pristine and all sorts of different breaks throughout the baseball card collecting season. And until next time, guys, take care of yourself, take care of your family, take care of your friends, and we'll do it again soon.